YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Matt DIY. So today we're actually going to do a quick video on the 2012 Chevy Impala. Um, actually just going to do a uh, disassembly of the front bumper. I'm uh, going to show you how we get it off. And there's also some interesting things <laughs> up here on this car with this bumper that I just kind of wanted to show because I thought it was funny. Um, but we're going to go ahead and tear it off and then tear, take the break it, broken plastic piece behind that off as well. And then I think we're actually going to take the Impala out of the garage. I'll put it to the side because I believe we're supposed to get like another, I don't know, six, seven inches of snow tonight. So I'd rather have my daily driver in here just in case I need it uh, nice and clean and get this one out while we're still waiting for parts. We don't have anything else right now anyway, waiting for a bumper and stuff like that. So uh, anyways, guys, let's go ahead and get into that. Before we get started, uh, if you're not subscribed or if you're new here, be sure to subscribe down below. Um, if you like this kind of stuff and want to see more in the future, also be sure to like this video, comment, let me know what you think, any thoughts, things like that. I welcome them as well. And uh, with that, guys, let's go ahead and get into it. All right, guys, I apologize if you hear a slight snowblower in the background. All the neighbors are out cleaning their driveways, things like that. We've got a lot of snow lately. Anyhow, so here is the front bumper cover on this thing. And, uh, well, <laughs> so <laughs> she's... Uh, yeah, she's barely hanging on. So what we have here is we have, well, we got a grill, guys. And in case you didn't know, if your grill ever falls out, um, the way to fix it is actually just get yourself some Gorilla Glue from the local uh, Walmart. See this here? And just uh, spread it on the bottom. That'll hold your grill in nice. And then go ahead and get yourself a, uh, you know, a little, little twist tie for the corner there just for extra support. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Oh, wow, yeah. So uh, apparently... Gorilla glue doesn't hold up very well. Um, wow, that just that's just amazing. Um, this is pretty much toast, I think. Well, at least this exterior part is close. I, I did get a new one. We'll have to see. Um, but the one I got is used, not brand new. So we'll have to see which one's actually better uh, to use here. But as you can see, this one's trash. So, anyways, there's really no clips up here because, uh, well. <laughs> They're all snapped off. Um, this is all part of that piece, I believe, that goes down below. So that should all be attached on the new piece that we purchased. Um, so I think all we have to do is take some clips off each side and underneath, and two bolts, I believe, on each side. And uh, she should come off. And then this bumper, or not bumper, this fender actually shifted back a little bit um hard to tell where the screw holes are that it did but actually up here looks pretty decent too but it does rub down here unless this got dented actually just right there maybe we can pull that out i don't know we gotta we gotta do something there because the door actually scrapes a little bit on the fender so we'll have to look at that a little closer uh, to get this bumper out of the way and the headlights just a clip here should pop out um and then we may yeah this hood uh bracket here you can see see how that nut shifted upward so if we bring this up a little bit um and you can see here too where it used to be versus where it is now bring that up a little bit that should straighten that and allow the hood to close a little better but uh anyways i'm gonna go ahead and set you guys up and you can watch me go ahead and uh Kind of play around with this thing and get it loose and then I'll bring it back and we'll see what's underneath.
Okay, guys, wanted to bring you in. So here's the bumper. And uh, looks like it might be a junkyard bumper. Actually, wait. Here's a tag. Import, imported parts, 2015. So this might be like an aftermarket bumper that somebody legit just spray painted. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, hit convertible. Okay. Uh, yeah. It's just, uh, it's just spray painted, guys. Anyways, piece of junk. But key thing here is. Uh, never throw anything away so like these brackets here I'm not sure exactly how they come out but anyways um we'll be keeping those i don't know if there is one on the other side no no bracket there oh what people do anywho here's what's behind it and uh honestly things look pretty good We've got uh yeah, a little bit of rust, but no damage. And I can see. This obviously comes off. I have a whole new piece. Um, I'm not sure exactly. Might be bolted on there somewhere. Or clips on. I'm not sure exactly what how that's on there. But we'll figure that out. But um, yeah, not bad. So that fender, I think it's just crunched down low. Yep, I can see the dent from here. So we'll just see that gap there. We'll just pull that out. And that should do the uh, fender nicely. Raise this latch up a little bit. Again, get this. Can we do this one-handed? How does this come off, guys? I'm probably missing a... It uh, doesn't just... Oh, wow. Does it literally just... Clip on there? Surely not. Wow. All right, I guess it does, and then uh, the rest of it, like bolts on there and there, and that's uh, yeah, we're yeah, a little bit of rust, but no signs of impact. Sweet, yeah, guys, this is gonna be easy when the new bumper comes. We get that new plastic piece on, yeah gonna be real nice all this plastic under here is good but you never see that um this here there might be a little crack out of it but i don't think i'm gonna replace that whole thing unless it's like super cheap guys i don't really see the sense in it for that little piece let's go over the other side yeah this side's good awesome i've got clips i'm not worried about that it's like the uh washer fluid reservoir looks good Sweet. Yeah, that's all part of... Okay, I see. That's where it bolts on. Radiator. And, uh... Everything up here looks good. This might... Actually, this... Oh, I see what happened here, guys. See this bend right here? Yeah, literally, if we take this out, push that in and get this back up, that'll be fine. The hood will close just fine. All right, enough rambling. Um gonna finish that off and uh pull those couple plastic pieces off of here and then we'll be back. Okay, guys, all remnants of everything old is off, and it uh, just kind of came to me what happened to this thing. So it looks to me like this rad support here 
is tweaked just a smidge downward. Um, you can see the tweak in the bar here too. It's not much, just a little bit. And then this is tweaked in just a little bit. I can easily pull this back out and can easily just yank up on this um, with just a tiny bit of force. And uh, we're good. And then we can, again, get this in place. And uh, you can see it's that side of the radiator compared to this side. But it didn't do any damage to the radiator or um, condenser. So, yeah, you don't have to worry about that at all. Just need to double check here. Yeah, everything looks, looks good there. So, yeah, so we'll go ahead and uh, do that next time before we put the bumper on and... Uh, Good to go. So we got her off, guys. So we're going to go ahead and pull her out, and uh, that's going to be it for this video. All right. Thanks for tuning in, guys, for the 2012 Impala bumper removal. Went pretty smoothly, just waiting for new parts to come in, and then we'll sure up the front end. And uh, we'll be getting close to calling this one, uh, you know, done besides the interior detail and everything. Um, but, yeah, come right along. So if you enjoyed the content, guys, be sure to subscribe down below. Uh, you know, like this video, let me know what you think in the comments. Also, don't forget to follow me over on Facebook and Instagram at MattDIY1. Until next time, guys, get out, do it yourself.